Hello and welcome to a quick new Payroll Year Wizard tutorial. Running the wizard will prepare you for the new year, and it only takes a couple of minutes. So let's begin. You can complete the wizard anytime. Just click this icon on your dashboard, or start a pay run with a payment date in 2025. And don't worry about doing this too early, we'll store your answers until you close the year. A quick note before we begin. Your options might look a little different than mine, and that's okay. I'll show examples of all the prompts, but when you run the wizard, you'll only see what applies to your company. First, you'll be asked to carry your vacation amounts over to the next year. If you have employees with banked vacation, you'll see this screen. Now, this prompt asks you to acknowledge that if you go back and pay out any vacations from the previous year, you must then manually update each employee's profile with the new vacation balance in the new year. Vacation carryover only happens once, so check the box and click Continue. Now, you'll see this first prompt if you've received a lower rate for the company portion of employment insurance. Since this applies to me, I'm going to select Yes and fill in my reduced EI rate. You'll also see the option to update your remittance frequency if you received a letter from the CRA or MRQ. Since this also applies to me, I'm going to select Yes and choose my new frequency. Then I'll continue. Next, you'll see one of two screens. If you're like me and you have employees with custom TD1 rates, you'll see links to the new TD1 forms and a grid to update these employees' basic exemptions. You'll only see employees with custom rates here. Otherwise, if you don't have employees with custom rates, you'll see a notification that tells you just that. You'll also see links to the forms in case you need them. Now, back to my screen. If you do not update these employees before completing the wizard, they will be set to the basic rates for the new year. So, I'm going to update this employee's federal and provincial exemptions and click continue. This is the Ontario Employer Health Tax Questionnaire. You'll see this if you have employees with Ontario as their province of employment. Just answer the questions you see on screen. Again, your answers may be different than mine, and that'll set your EHT rates for the year. Then, continue. Here, you'll enter your CNESST and HSF rates. Anyone with employees with the province of employments in Quebec will see this. I'm going to enter my two rates and click continue. Finally, we have the BC EHT rates. You'll see this one if you have employees with BC listed as their province of employment. Answer the questions that apply to you and the wizard will set your rates. Next, continue. And all that's left is to review your answers. Once you check your responses, click Save. We'll store your answers, and when you start a pay run with a payment date in 2025, we'll prompt you to close the year. After that, your settings will be updated for the new year. It's that easy.